Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are here with the official Madden 22 reaction to the trailer, to the gridiron notes, to everything you need to know. You can learn it right here. Any and all info will be answered on the Madden 22 release day, the Madden 22 beta. And just in general, if you have any questions, leave them down below. For all that, man, just want to say thank you. Uh, well, here we go into another year of Madden, and this is definitely going to be my best year as in the most work i put into youtube man and i hopefully and i know i will see the growth just want to put that out into the existence but yeah let's get into everything you want to know you want to see right now right here all right guys so here we go with the official trailer as you see right here we got mahomes and brady i will show you the uh cover in a second but there goes bradley chubb before the unexpected happens I have the audio off for a reason. There's some copyright claims, so I don't want to even get into that. But this trailer looks super dope. Uh, one thing I will say is it has that music, the, oh, what are we going to do type of music. But yeah, man, for, for the most part, this is all like graphics, um, just kind of hyping up the new players and the new teams they are on. And just overall, this right there, that cut right there, I'll zoom it back real quick. So I've barely been playing the beta, but this cut right here, we're gonna have to get used to that man the movement is very resemblant of the madden 22 next gen gameplay but as you see right here there's derrick henry there's dalvin cook hopefully that doesn't mean toting is going to be a thing but hey just who knows uh is right there is that carl joseph i don't even know but uh yeah i mean it looks like just a lot of things going on right now i think that is the rookie jeff akuda and I mean, it really didn't show too much gameplay, but this does look super hype, man. Uh, surely, but slowly, we will get into, uh, you know, the actual things. As you see right here, pressure happens. This right here, what this means is um, in a certain NFL stadiums, there is going to be X factors. So for one example, I'm going to pause it real quick. This thing is moving super fast. One example, and I will get into this in a second, is the Saints Stadium. I think they have a thing called who that that like on third downs if it gets loud enough um you are just gonna your players are just gonna freak out and like they won't be able to run the routes if you're on the offensive side of things just how like the nfl is which is super super dope in my opinion um obviously there's like certain things that need to be like that line of like okay this is competitive this is not competitive i could see that being a nice thing for weekend league but nonetheless that's gonna be crazy um, another thing I think is the Mile High Stadium. You lose stamina. I read that in the notes. We'll get into that in a second. See right here, Brady dropping back. Is he gonna throw a dot? There's Kelsey. And yeah, man, it really uh, emphasizes the two guys, Brady and Mahomes, the two cover athletes. It's gonna show here in a second. Chris Coughlin ag, and hopefully, uh, hopefully that's not a thing, man. Uh, some things the ags have kind of been crazy, but I don't know, but. Greatness happens. This is a dual sport, dual athlete cover, and this is just super sick, man. This is one of the best covers I've seen in a while. Madden 22. Are they going to show it? And there it is. Pre-order now. Play early August 17th. Go pre-order it. Guys, I know that was a lot to take in. Um, the uh, No audio kind of threw me off, but yeah, like the one thing for one is the movement definitely kind of... Uh, threw me off guard those cuts are going to be completely different this year so if you played a lot of madden 20 next gen madden 21 next gen you'll be used to this year's game for sure the other thing is just the hype factor man like this this game has so much hype around it uh like all the I'm trying to think the social out outputs have been insane i'm pretty sure they had like jack harlow on it and all that uh like there's so much hype around this game for sure just gotta hope the gameplay lives up to it man and i, I think it will be able to all right guys i'm gonna leave a link to this down below here are the gridiron notes click this link man and you will be able to see it i will leave them down below this is what you guys want to see this is where i come into you know the process and i could tell you what's going to be good what's not going to be good uh this is my forte so here the play test details so there's a play test obviously the beta if i have some codes i will leave them down below whoever comments i might pick you out if i have some codes man but play test is basically to get the game into a better state overall a lot of feedback is going to be involved if you have the beta please leave some feedback it is very important um welcome back for another edition of gridiron notes gotta love the gridiron notes 
Playtest will be your first chance to certain members of the community get their hands-on experience with the most dynamic Madden experience ever. All powered by real-world data. I love that. Our goal is to collect feedback as early as possible and continuously update Madden 20, Madden NFL 22 to be the best game possible for our players. Guys, it's going to be, it's, I don't know if I've been saying Madden 21 a lot. It's going to be a little, you know, it's going to take some time to get used to saying Madden 22. Trust me. Uh, what is included in the Madden NFL 22 community playlist? This is the beta for the most part. Um, but nonetheless, this is going to lead up to like the first developing weeks of Madden 22. So this is some important info that you guys need to listen. I believe if I'm reading this correctly, you could play Madden. Uh, you could play Ultimate Team. Um, hold up. Let me see. You could play Ultimate Team in the play test. I did not know that. Um, I If I'm wrong, correct me. But that's what it says, man. You could play now, which is online. Franchise, obviously, is the same. But it's saying in the community playtest, you could play Mutt and Weekend League, which is like, bruh, I'm gonna, I need to get on that. I mean, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but I'll definitely take a look. Obviously, there's no recording or nothing. I wish I could post some gameplay to YouTube, but that's just gonna have to wait for the first weeks, man. Um, it, it definitely sucks, but hey, I mean, as long as you get to experience it, man, that's all I could say. We could obviously talk about it anytime. Here are the rules. That's like we were saying, you can't capture anything, record, stream, none of that. Don't get caught, man. If you get caught with that little watermark floating around, it's gonna be some serious consequences for you guys. Um, and obviously you guys agree to this once you sign up for it. So there's that. To download it, just type in the codes, Xbox and PSN. That's pretty self-explanatory. Here are the issues, man. There will be no data on some Okay, so like one thing I noticed was the passing play art would be kind of messed up. These things are really, I don't even know. Uh, these are really nothing to take account for. These are just some small global updates. Like like certain things like play art not showing up, that's fine. We know it's gonna be fixed, boys. We know it's gonna be fixed by that uh, release date. Something like, you know, fatigue bars, that's gonna be fixed. It's a beta, we know it's gonna happen. Um, but let me go and see what is going on known issues in gameplay okay that's what we want to see expect late drops caused by defender contact on aggressive catches aggressive catches not really been the best for you know catching in traffic so i mean this has been kind of a thing expect flat defenders to be slow to react in the flat coverage and i love this they know what's going on they're already working on it they've gotten their feedback which is awesome they know and they're telling us just expect this this is beta most of the end game highlights will not be functional it happens Deep zones will not effectively cover sidelines, back corner of the end zone. Once more, yeah, that happens. And I'm glad they're working on it. So they know, see, known issues with the gameplay. That means they're working on it. Deep zones will not effectively cover deep crossing routes. Glad they're working on that. Throw out of sack adjustments will be incomplete on competitive game style. I don't know if that means no more throw out of sack interceptions which I mean, some of you like, some of you don't like, because uh, I know the higher level comp players really like throw out a sack interceptions, because I guess it, you could think of it this way. There's a timing window, man. If you miss your timing window, you definitely should be punished. I don't know if it should be with a pick. I do like a throw out a sack being incomplete, but there have been some plays where, you know, I've gotten some crucial interceptions out of throw out a sack, which means, you know, meant a lot to me in that game. So, I mean, it is what it is. We'll see how it is. Jumping sideline catches will not always get the player's feet in bounds. Okay, I just realized this is a known issue. So I don't know what that means completely. This is good that they're working on that. Expect broken hit stick tackles. That's good that they're working on that because hit sticks, you need to, I need to, I need to go back to where you could hit square and just absolutely obliterate someone. That was next level. I know the right stick hit stick is like more uh, competitive, more next level, higher skill gap, but the square hit stick was insane. I think that was Madden 17. Question marks will randomly hover over various players' heads during play. I don't know. That's good. They're working on that. Um, these are just like kind of like the first down markers. That's fine. Momentum, it will not work. Okay, that's yard. Tendency gameplay, UI will not be final. Some text in the build. That's just like the menus and all that type of stuff. Like when you pop up, hold RT and all that. Known issues in Ultimate Team. Some menu description will read their subtext here. Expect no deep links with mission activities. No offers in the Mutt Store, obviously. You don't want to be able to buy it. Several play modes 
are not meant to be accessible during Madden 22 community play test, including head to head, head to head salary cap, head to head play a friend, draft squads, play a friend. So I guess Mutt really, there's nothing besides weekend league, right? There's nothing you could do, which I'm gonna be on weekend league, boys. I'm gonna be on weekend league. No sets are available. That's fine. Commentary, really don't need to worry about that. Let's see what I was looking for. During week two of the community playtest, there'll be a title update. That's big. Please keep in mind this title update. Participants will lose all information leagues created. And if you always want to put your voice into whatever, like, oh, I found something, but I don't know if anyone else knows it, you can't always do that. There's a website. Please leave your feedback. That's what it's all about. And that's all just feedback. And I'm trying to find the notes um, or if this is the same thing. Okay, these are the notes. Let's see what we got going on. Um, I kind of just scroll through it. We really don't need, let's see what this is. Every team and every player you know and love will be more true to life with next gen stats, star driven AI. It's going to change AI behavior and team tendencies based on the real world data over the course of the NFL season. So think of this as a like series live for MLB the show. Obviously, this is regs. I don't know how it's going to take into play, but yeah, the next gen stats will be insane. Players will blitz, scramble. Okay, I know what this is. There'll be certain settings, boys, that you will be able to switch on and off. If someone's killing you with the scramble, you could turn on turn on scramble, but it's going to affect something else. So that's really what it is. Um, think of this as next level coaching adjustments because coaching adjustments had that option. If someone's like uh, taking off with the option, you could take it off or you could worry about the QB. This is like the next level. I can't wait to see what that's all about. You will be able to shift momentum in and out of your favor during high stakes moments. You'll also be see all new crowd animations on field reactions and celebrations that will bring a real world of emotion game day to life. I'm a huge fan of all this stuff. The 12s in Seattle, they get crazy, they get loud. Awesome. If that affects Mutt or in competitive, bro, that's gonna be an issue. There could only be one Steelers Club Series champion, you know? I mean, not Steelers, Seahawks. And you know, like if he, they have that advantage, I don't think it's ever gonna get down to that point. I'm just thinking ahead, trying to think of the worst possible outcome. They know they're gonna be ahead of all that. And regs, that'd be pretty dope. That'd be a lot of strategy. Okay, this is why I use this team. They're not as good, but when I get the third or fourth down, your players won't be able to run their routes or your players are gonna get tired. Like, no one's gonna wa wanna use the Broncos unless they have something like that. Seahawks are cool, but they haven't been as good as they once were. Um, the Saints, if they have that, you know, the Saints, they don't even have a QB anymore. So, I mean, I don't know if that's the right reasoning. I mean, it kind of does make sense. We, sh we just have to see, man. Look at these screenshots. Brady digs with a juke move against Kevin King. <laughs> Justin Fields and American flag. Pretty nice. So, you get closer to the official launch. Madden NFL 22 in August, we plan to give you a more in-depth look at things to come in Madden NFL 22 through Madden All Access. Deep dives, all in-depth look at features in Madden NFL 22. I mean, I guess that's like what, patches or like when new things add, they're gonna go more into detail, more into depth because that's been a thing in the past where like they've been kind of vague about it. I like that a lot. Madden creator content reveals. Madden NFL 22 content shared by some of your favorite community creators. That might be me, boys. Uh, we just gotta see, that's gonna be dope. Making Madden podcast an exciting podcast series led by Madden NFL developers sharing all the story decision. That's dope. Um, that's like for the people who made the Madden and all that. Uh, hearing into like, well, what strategies, oh, I came up with this idea this time. That's gonna be insane. Good our notes, best thing that we've had in a minute. We know what that is. Here's the schedule franchise on 21st of June. Dynamic game day, not sure what that is. Face of the franchise ratings week is what I'm looking for, July 26th. Superstar KO, maybe some of y'all looking forward to that July 12th. EA Play Spotlight, scouting reveal, not sure what that is, July 19th. Mm -mm. And first podcast will be Madden 19th. Boom, boom, boom. More to come in August, ultimate team. Here are your pre-order offers. I'm not really gonna zoom in on that too much. I'll make sure to let y'all know when that happens, but that's about it for now. But there's that, man. Uh, there's some, some things that maybe left out, but the main things were uh, those like NFL crowd moments with the Broncos. Seattle's probably gonna have it. Saints are gonna have it. 
Um, those type of things are really going to matter. Another thing I didn't bring up, boys, is the Mutt Stat Tracker. So if you play MLB The Show, man, you probably have been wanting this for a minute in Madden. You can finally track your stats. If someone's not quitting out of that game, I don't know if they're going to have incentives or boosts or parallels. That'd be pretty dope. But um, if someone's not quitting out of that game, you can stat pad up your stats. Hopefully they give you something for doing that because, you know, that's the worst. When you're just in that game and they won't quit, they won't quit, they won't quit. Give me some incentive to, you know, keep going. Um, besides, you know, obviously making them quit. Give me some incentive to stat pad. Something I highly wish for. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I, I'll just say the movement, man. Uh, if the movement and the game speed speeds up, it'd be really nice. I played a little bit of the beta earlier on. Um, and like the cuts weren't as clean as they could have been. All that type of stuff. Uh, but I mean, obviously they're going to be working on that. And overall, I'm just super excited, man. Uh, defense, I feel like could be a little bit better. The zones, but we already read that a little bit. They're going to get better. Um, the user played a little bit the user that's all i gotta say hopefully they fix the user and like lastly all i gotta say is i'm really excited to get into mutt this year mutt is gonna be crazy this might my, my, be my most hard working and the best year i have content wise i feel like i'm gonna sacrifice a little bit out of the competitive scene to make it ends work on the youtube side and see how we go man youtube twitch all that good stuff i'm coming for y'all i know i usually stream quite a bit but not really during the season i kind of hide some stuff but feel like I could do both, man. I definitely feel like I do could do both. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And gonna keep posting some Madden 22 news until we finally get to week one, day one. I'll see y'all then. Much love, stay safe. And like I said, leave any questions down below.